Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, this dude is a submission magician. I am very thankful I am not fighting him here tonight, and it's really a case of pick your poison. He has so many different chokes in his arsenal and has been a master of getting these fights exactly where he wants them. There are black belts and there are guys like this who can do jujitsu at a level that not many people, regardless of the time spent, can truly get to. His understanding of position is truly unbelievable. He always has the frame. The moment you start to press into him, he's always underhooking, always looking for the next escape route, but not to get back to his feet. Right. He wants to go from bottom to top. If he's in the top position, you are constantly, constantly in danger. Don't think he can't submit you from the bottom. Right. But his position of choice will always be in the top position sitting yes. in that beautiful half guard. Yeah, his striking also has improved a lot, but no secret as to what he'll be trying to do in this matchup tonight. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Both fighters identical in age, some differences in height and reach. All right, now for the particulars, he is Bruce This Bell. is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena, in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Monster! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of San Francisco, California, USA, Lee! Okay, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. down there. How good is his takedown defense? Boy, Ty Plump. Another shot lands upstairs. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Big kick lands. Oh, right hand gets up to block. Look at him drive his shin into the whole body with that body kick. 
big ball from punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, nice counter punch there as he continues to make good use of this advantage in reach. John, I could have watched this guy shoot takedown attempts without securing one. It's almost like out of pity. You feel good for him to finally get it done. Now what does he do with this top of the Two minutes have expired off the round one clock here. Under three minutes now to go in round one. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Lee. Oh, useful strike on the ground, that was. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this thing. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Lee. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here, and he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Hey, Useful strike there. The ground and pound on point tonight. Now to go in round one. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. All right, north south position now. We'll see who transitions first. having his way with him here. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. So an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are gonna be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're gonna see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Oh, a little single collar tie there. 
Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Nice. Takedown defense holds up. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. I'm still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Ooh, found a home for that knee. Just over three minutes to go. Nice punch there. Very tricky when you throw that body kick. Single collar tie now. Well, missed on that one. Big head kick. Just out of range with that left hook. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. And they separate. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands. Oh, he gets the takedown. Could ill afford that. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Blocked. he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound. Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. <laughs> Solid strike on the ground. Can he take? All right, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet, and we are back underway. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. That's a big strike right there. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault, and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Gotta be careful here, though, not to gas out. Big kick land. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target there. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Seconds winding down in round two. Massive what a fight so far! Good with those Everything is 
All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, here we go, DC. Our next round is underway, and he's chasing some punch stat records tonight. That was some serious volume and efficiency in the previous round. Normally, you see that in boxing, where a guy just throws so many strikes. But this man has taken it to the octagon, looking to break all the punch records before the night is over. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh, big punch land. It's a nice back and forth action here. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Real quick leg kick. Very significant welt to the left side. Nice. Man, he just gets better with every fight. Another kick to the leg landed there by Lee. That was a good Nice fight. I mean, he's cutting down the side. to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Nice punch lands over the top. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Oh, that straight punch was useful, champ. Multiple times he's used this punch to get to the target. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. That's a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Both guys really throwing with authority. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Misses with the jab. Lunges forward with a left there. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. What a punch. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. So he lands a double jab there. He continues to work off of that weapon, and you felt like that was a big key for him coming in tonight. Very important for him to start popping that jab. He's doing it over and over again, and he's finding a ton of success. Under a minute to go in the round. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Right hand punch to the clinch. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Look at the force behind that leg kick.
15 seconds. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Big power shot there. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. Oh, the round is over and blood is just fauceting out of this cheek. That cheek has gotten out of control. Cut man can only do so much. And given the fact that that cut continues to be attacked by the opponent, if this thing gets any worse, they're going to stop this fight. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him. That was so impressive to see. Some oh, and now he's hurt. That's one of those shots. And if you take one of them, and the night cap will make it right on the spot. Nice. And they separate. Pretty good right hand. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Good stick. Big kick land. Just misses there with the left. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Big elbow. Oh, late defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nicely done. Nice straight punch. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Lee. Oh, man, look at that. Kick turn perfect. Got the leg, got his position, got another beautiful takedown. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Lee. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Trying to guard pass here. Not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. It's a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Lands the ground and pound strike. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, try to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Fighters back to their feet here. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move, right? Huh. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. Liver kick. He blocks the punch. <laughs> Big punch lands through the middle. Superman punch. Oh, nice. Man, another good, good takedown. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. All right, side control now. Final minute. 
45 seconds remain in the round. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Lee. Ten seconds to go in round four. Oh, nice combination of strikes here from the top, standing over his opponent. Not unlike Muhammad Ali over Sonny Liston. Oh, that is a good reference. If you're standing and your opponent's on the ground, you're doing really good work. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work, but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into the strike. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, effective strike there by Lee. All right, he engages in a single collar tie. Oh, working hard here against the fence. We'll see if he can get the takedown. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, now he's got the tie from Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? Over the top. This fight's gonna be over this. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the court. He mixed it up. He went high with it. He thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh, strong punch there by Lee. Superman punch now. Just misses with the right. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. Beautiful strike. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Now connects with the right. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. He goes upstairs for an elbow. Lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good action. Oh, what a connection right up the gut. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. Oh, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Battling for hooks. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch, I just put a smile on my face. 
Well, he's got to be on top of the world after this performance here tonight as we come down the stretch in this one. From a cardio standpoint, this is as conditioned as he has ever arrived in the office. I mean, he looks fantastic tonight. It's one of those nights where everything went right. He got the fight where he's comfortable, and he dictated the exchanges to where he can really conserve that cardio. Well, no surprise. Gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he could get his hand raised. Here we go inside the octagon for the official decision to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 46 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by Knockout Lee. Oh, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.